Hello, this is Minecraft Beta Boy, and today I'm going to be showing you part two of my Minecraft mods. And today we're going to be using a piece of software called MC Edit, or Minecraft Editor in full. And it's going to let you do loads of cool stuff, most of which I haven't experimented with yet. Today I'm just going to be showing you one function. So as you can see, this is my normal house. There's a big portal, and all the wooden bit is before I found the inventory editor that I showed in the last episode. Now I've got a big floor made of pure diamond blocks. So as you can see it's a pretty distinct map. So if you saw it again you'd probably recognise it. So I'll just save that, close it down. And the software you're gonna need to download is gonna be on this is gonna be right there on the page. I'll give you the link for that. And you're gonna have to download the raw file, not the EXE file. And you have to right click on that file once it's downloaded and extract the files. If there isn't an option to extract the files, then there is some software in the description that will let you extract them. So once you've found it, you're going to click on the one at the bottom, and this should open up, and you're going to click on the update button, just so you can get a quick update on the software. And once the update is finished, you just close it down and load it back up again. So this is going to work quite similar to the inventory editor before. It's going to detect all the maps from recent game saves and it's going to spawn you there. And as you can see there's the portal with the fence around. There's a big floor made of diamonds. So you can, you can actually fly under the map and if there's like any diamonds or gold down there you can see them through the walls lava and all that stuff and that's just one of the features you can actually spawn your person there the next time you go on that level if you're using that button just put in there you press control and s to save it so that's only one of the features but i find that pretty cool so once you've done that you can just go back onto minecraft and you you're gonna see that it's actually spawned me in that room you can't actually see it at the moment because it's pitch black. I'm going to place a torch. And there you go, there's the red blocks that you saw just before I went off that last piece of software. So, there you go. I'm sure you guys can explore the software a bit more than I have. I've just done a quick look through. I haven't bothered playing around with it yet. So, yeah, that's the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. This has been Minecraft Beta Boy. Comment, rate, and subscribe.